Hi, I'm Jennifer Marshall Jenkinson, Chairman of the UK Microwave Technologies Association and author of the prize-winning cookbook, Microwave Magic, the Art of 21st Century Cooking. So, here's the ingredients that we need for this. I've got in this bowl here 675 grams of tomatoes. And as you can see, what I've done here already is to peel them and cut them in half. I've also got four courgettes and I've washed these and sliced them up. I'm going to add to that half a litre of chicken stock. There we are. And two tablespoons, just about, of tomato puree. Now, don't forget to put a lid on the dish and we're going to cook that together for 10 minutes on a high power so that all the vegetables have a chance to soften down. While that's cooking away, what I want to do is blend a little bit of the stock with some of my flour that I've got here and some butter. Just stir it all together. Stir in my herbs and I've got here a tablespoon of fresh chopped basil, a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley and I'm going to add a teaspoon of nutmeg just to give it a little bit of spiciness. There we are. And we'll stir that in with a little bit more of the stock and then when the uh, cooking time is completed I'm going to stir this mixture into the soup, return it to the oven just for three or four minutes so that the soup thickens slightly before it finishes cooking. So we'll leave that for a moment until the soup finishes cooking. Right, now our soup's had 20 minutes cooking in total. That's 10 minutes on high power and 10 minutes on medium power. So what I'm going to do now, and all the vegetables look a lovely and soft. What I'm going to do now is stir in my blend of flour, butter and all the herbs. Just stir that in quickly and it's, I'm going to return it to the oven just so that the flour has a chance to thicken. It's already thickening now actually, as you can see before our eyes, so it's very hot. But just to finish off the cooking, three minutes on high power to ensure that all the flour is thoroughly cooked through. So I've just added the flour and the herb mixture and just to finish off I'm going to add 500 ml the remaining chicken stock there and that goes back into the oven just to complete its cooking for three minutes on high power. Now at this stage you could either push the soup through a blender or a sieve or as I'm going to do today, serve it rustic French style in one of these lovely big soup bowls. There we are. With some fresh basil. A lovely knob of sour cream. and some French bread on the side. What a lovely supper or lunch dish. So simple to make. And of course the soup freezes well. So if you make a whole batch, if you've got lots of tomatoes left over in the garden, you can freeze the soup for later.